What's up, YouTubers, YouTubettes? So today I'm going to make some sodium metal, and in here I've got 65 grams of magnesium and 75 grams of sodium hydroxide and a couple fuses that I'm going to set like this, put a weight on top of it so that way when I light them they'll fall in the hole and the weight will plug the hole. And um, that will create some sodium metal in this can. Um, you're going to want to use a can that can withstand, uh, like, I, I don't know, I think it's like 5,000 degrees or so for when magnesium burns, um, so steel can. Um, yeah, so anyways, when I, I'll get this all set up and I'll show you what I do. Alright, lighting attempt number one. It didn't seal up so good. <laughs> Alright, I need to get some mineral oil. Alright, so uh, I kind of missed a lot on the recording, but so that's what I've got left. Um, so, a couple things I would say for. A, tips would be use a can you can cut to the bottom of because it adheres to the bottom of the can very hard <laughs> and so it was, I had to cut the can I had to pieces which I did not want to do to get it out um, and so other than that though it works good and the stuff's really reactive which I'm going to use this to um, make uh, sodium metal the other way that nerd raid shows and so I'm going to use this as a process for that because it'll separate the magnesium and the sodium in that process and so that will clean this um, somewhat anyways anyways you guys so that's all it takes to do this very simple till the next one